I know, I know. But I cannot see I'm legally blind. Okay, okay, I'm just joking. Okay, listen. I read each and every creative comment in my videos. I read all of them, okay? And I'm getting this comment for almost one month straight. Now, wait, 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 wait. Wait before you skip. So before you proceed further, you need to know what and why is this DX11 10.0 uh, error is happening. So basically this error trying to say you that in one word, uh, your GPU is not supported. Although you have a higher GPU or a lower GPU, whatever. So this is not a particular problem, okay? So it can be your outdated display drivers or outdated Windows 10 or uh, missing drivers in your PC. But for the most of the case, Riot Vanguard anti-cheat system is a main imposter. So I'm not a very intelligent tech savvy guy. So in simple words, what Riot Vanguard anti-cheat is doing to your PC is it has access to your kernel. So whenever you're starting Valorant, uh, it's detecting that you have a GPU which is below their minimum system requirements and it shows that DX11 error message and crashes the game. I'm to stop! And that's why DX11 error is the f***ing problem. So my main point is, I'm not God, so I don't know the exact and particular solution for your PC that how it can be fixed, you know. But the thing I can do, I can show you some steps which you can do one by one to see if it works for your PC or not. So I'm not making this video for fucking views, you know. Because there are already so many videos on YouTube which 50-50 uh, works and doesn't work. So as you guys were requesting for this video and if at least one guy got help from this video, that will be my victory for this thing and even i don't expect views from this video i expect like 30 to 40 views i guess so <laughs> and um let's start not gonna lie i talk so much trash so first of all you need to check that your windows is fully up to date or not so go to windows Go to settings, go to update and security and check for updates. You might be thinking that updating windows is useless, but updating your windows may fix a whole lot of problem you're going through. Not gonna lie, recent windows out 10 updates are really important for your PC because it gives you a whole lot of new features and fixes old annoying bugs. After updating windows 10, um, go to the option for developers and turn on the developers mode you know it kind of feels a dumb idea but sometimes it works it really works this will allow to install any software successfully so i recommend to give it a shot with developers mode on and after turning on the developers mode you may restart your pc so it will be applied successfully so let's jump on to the next step so head over to the windows search bar and search for drivers and select the device manager and open it now here go to the display adapter option and cl just click on it. Now wait, as I use a NVIDIA graphics card, I'm getting NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super as my option. But for you, it can be Intel HD graphics or AMD Radeon Vega graphics or other sort of NVIDIA graphics. Don't need to be worried about that because the process is same. Now just simply right click on it, go to the properties, then go to the drivers and update drivers and search automatically for drivers and it will search for latest drivers and will install latest drivers in your pc sometimes it works otherwise we need to manually download and install the dedicated graphics drivers for respective system now if you have a nvidia graphics in your system and you're still facing the dx11 error i highly recommend to download this software called geforce experience download link will be in the description Get <laughs> here you can optimize your game settings from this software and the main thing you can check for the latest drivers from here like go to the drivers and check for updates or it will notify you whenever the new update is out you can skip this part according to your need timestamps will be in the description if that software doesn't work go to this website link will be in the description and simply fill up your graphics card details in here select the correct product type product series and the product operating system and download type and the language 
and hit on search button now from here you will definitely get your latest nvidia graphics drivers for your laptop or pc it will redirect you to the right page and from where you can download the drivers after the download install it in your pc and restart your system i guess you can do it it's easy now for amd ones go to this website link will be in the description and same as nvidia fill up with your product details in down below like uh, either dedicated graphics or you know vega graphics of apus or that and i mean just just simply put the correct details in here according to your system and once you fill the right details in here um just simply click on the submit button what you're waiting for and it will redirect you to the correct page from where you can download your desired drivers just click on the windows 10 64 bit if you are running with that and hit download and your download will be started installation is damn easy i'm pretty sure you can do it now for the intel graphics army <laughs> what's up baby <laughs> just head over to this website i'll put the link in the description and here you can manually select your product now don't need to be worried if you have no idea which intel hd graphics you have just simply go on this pc and right click somewhere here and open properties and you will have the all information you will need here in this tab to show you an example here i'm selecting the intel hd graphics only and in the products here i'm gonna be selecting intel hd graphics 5500 which my previous laptop had so just simply select your desired uh, intel hd graphics and then the operating system windows 10 64 bit or windows 10 32 bit or windows 7 or windows 8 whatever so after the selection you will be given a list of drivers what you want and all you need to do is manually verify which one is the latest and select that driver and you will get the downloads option and just simply hit the download button like that now here you can double check uh, that you are choosing the right driver or not and simply download and install so that's how manually updating your graphics can solve the dx11 error so i literally have seen some people who are running with uh, windows 8.1 and windows 7 literally having this dx11 error problem because they don't have actually direct x11 so all you need to do is go to this website link will be in the description and just simply hit the download button and you can see there are so many seeds in here i mean the links from where you can download so you need to get a try and error method uh, i'm going with first uh, the us mirror one if it doesn't work then i'm going to try the next one um so just uh, select any one of these um just selecting the us mirror one if, if it works then okay if it doesn't works i have to select another one so you can see yep 404 so let's uh, try another one like uh, uk one and maybe it will work um simply yeah it worked uh, your download has been started yeah so all you need to do is just complete the download and install the directx 11 for some people it may work if you're still here and hearing this uh, stupid uh, talk please hit the subscribe button and join my discord uh, link will be in the description so for installation nothing uh, complex to do here's your file just simply open it and run it so here comes our last step so you can see that whenever you install valorant uh, the riot vanguard always remains online and creating this problem so just simply uninstall it just go uh, head over to the windows sorry sorry open this pc and uninstall our change program and simply search here riot vanguard just uh, type vanguard i guess yeah and just simply click it hit the uninstall button yeah just 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 do it just just do it look uninstalling riot vanguard will work 69 percent for sure because the problem is happening for riot vanguard for the most of the time but i will not recommend to do that because as you are uninstalling the anti-cheat system of riot games they may suspect you as a cheater and and riot games can ban your account at any mo in any moment you know it will create no issues in your pc but your account can get banned so i will not recommend this method 
but you can uh, give it a shot just to s get a taste of Valorant. One more thing, if you are going with this method, don't forget to restart after you uninstall the Riot Vanguard. This will effectively remove Riot Vanguard from your PC. So that was the video, thanks for watching, if you are still here, you are absolutely legend. So please consider subscription, like, comment, share and dislike if you disliked. Hope it will work for you. Just uh, let me know in the comments. If it works for at least one guy, it, that will be my victory. So I will happy to read those comments. If it's bad or good, I will read all of them. So please comment. Again, thanks for watching. Good night. Good luck. Uh, wear mask. Still COVID is on. Stay safe and that's that that's the end of it. Bye bye guys. Love you all. Just don't lose hope and stay motivated. Enjoy your life. So to download DirectX 11, first of all go to the web browser and write download DirectX 11 and just uh, hit this link and just hit on download and it will be downloaded in no time. <laughs> yeah boy. Oh wait wait wait. Wait a minute, why these are audio file? What the f If you're still here, congratulations, you found the step 5, the secret step, which works 100% for sure. Just don't expose it. Just all, just listen, it will work for sure. All you need to do is just follow my steps, which I'm gonna be showing you right now. So, let's jump onto it. Gówno ci to obchodzi! Śmiercił jebany! Kurwa mać! Wypierdalaj stąd! Wypierdalaj stąd! Bye, have a great time!